Hey, this is Nick. I just wanted to show you another new feature of D7 that I'm pretty stoked about. Um, this is the feature where it can create its own self-extracting archive. Uh, the point of this is to um, uh, essentially assist in remote support situations, uh, specifically for Screen Connect users. So you've got that Screen Connect toolbox and you like to use D7 with it but it does not work because D7 has dependencies and Screen Connect does not transfer them. Um, we've got a solution for that with the self-extracting archive. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is prune down your D7 folder. So essentially um, we're going to take out third-party tools just move it. You don't you can delete the temp. You should delete your reports. Everything else is good. You should have config, modules, and if you have any custom scripts, then leave those. Leave that directory. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is actually create the self-extracting archive. Click on your main menu and go down to create SFX. We'll just say yes and then you'll see um, the uh, archive is being compressed right now voila we are done and you'll you'll get a prompt that says the D7 SFX is located on your desktop and just to show you the usage of that without um, any uh, remote support situation going on but for example if you are on remote support and you're using your screen connect then just double click it you'll see a D7 folder getting created on the desktop and of course uh, D7 will automatically run now the thing about that is that um, and of course the self-extracting archive gets deleted um, the thing about that uh, running D7, of course, that you just saw was the UAC prompt. Uh, if you run the self-extracting archive as an administrator, you won't get that, and it'll just start D7 by itself. But um, anyway, that's just uh, all I got for you right now. But I'm trying to keep the videos more, you know, short and uh, frequent, I guess. So I'm going to try to do another quickie or two tonight. Stay tuned.